Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to build the ultimate fully adjustable DIY solar panel ground mount system. First thing we're gonna do is lay our solar panels face down on something that's not gonna damage the glass. So here we've just got a couple of two by fours laid across some sawhorses. Solar panels are down, face down. Then we're gonna take our Unistrat and lay it across here. See there's these holes here for mounting all along there. I'm going to use these holes, line it up here on the holes right to the edge of the solar panel. And this one right here, send it on the hole. So we've got them laid out right here and we're going to need to cut these ones right here. Just a quick note here, right? When you get it lined up on the end here, right? Flush with the end, the hole lines up with that hole. However, this one right here doesn't have any. So we're going to have to mark where we want to drill. We're going to drill there. And we're gonna drill there. And then down here, we're gonna just, this one lines up with the hole perfectly. So we'll just come down here and draw a line. Same with the other one, draw a line. Just make sure our line's there. Bam, perfect, look at that. Now we'll cut it right here. Then this extra piece right here, we're gonna use that piece. It's gonna be the vertical support for the panels. You can cut this stuff with a sawzall, a hacksaw, or a cutoff wheel. The next one we're gonna cut off with the Sawzall, just to see the difference. I kinda think the Sawzall's easier. All right, so these guys go. These are the pieces right here that we just cut off, and on my solar panels, they just happen to be the right length. This one actually goes up here, and they're gonna go. Right like that. Isn't that cool? Then the hinge is gonna be mounted on here and it's all gonna work out great. I forgot we've got to drill these holes right here first. All right, now we've got holes, holes, and holes over there. All the holes are drilled. These supports right here are gonna run right in the center of the panel right here. So we just gotta find the center and then uh, line them up there. All right. It actually needs to go this way, I forgot. We'll line it up right on the center. We got it all marked. Now it's time to set it up so we can weld it together. Just show you the marks here real quick. Right there is the center and then the two side marks. And so, right, this is just gonna go right there and it's gonna go right, right there. Bam, bam, just like that. We'll weld these together right here and here, right here and right here. So we slid the whole thing down here. We got it clamped together, took our square, all right, make sure it's square, beautiful. Check this side over here, beautifully square. It's right where we want it, one inch hanging over. This side as well. We'll weld up this side and then we'll set it back up there, make sure everything's good. We'll mark the other side, get it ready. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we got it tacked on there. We'll go get the other side tacked on and then we can like really get to weld. I don't wanna to weld too much right here next to the solar panels. Just don't want too many sparks going on them, maybe causing some kind of problem. But uh, anyway, we'll get the other side tacked up, then we'll do the real welding. <laughs> yeah. Flipped it around, got it all laid out again. Now we're gonna weld this side and then we'll put it back up there and just make sure it's all perfect. Now's the moment of truth. Uh -huh. 
Can you believe it, man? Everything lines up perfect. Look, bam, bam, bam. This one is a hair off, I guess, right there, that screw hole. But we can slide it over just a bit, right about there. It'll be okay. It's a small screw that goes through there. This side, bam, bam, and bam. Let's get this guy welded up pretty good here, and then we'll be having things. All welded up nice and tight. Now we gotta put the hinges on there. We're gonna put our hinge here. We're gonna mark the center of the solar panels, which is three foot, two and a half inches. If you're trying to find the center of something, like I just was, you can figure it out and then measure it and mark it and then measure it from the other side and see if it's exactly the same. Then you're only gonna send it, right? Cause maybe you just got off, uh, you know, you did your calculation wrong or something. Measure it from both ends. And if it's the same spot from both ends, then it's right in the center. These are the hinges that we're gonna be using right here to mount the whole panel racking system up to our pressure treated two by six on our ground mount or our pole mount. Ground mount, pole mount, multiple pole ground mount, something like that. These guys right here. We gotta bend them first. I cannot wait until we get that garage built. We have an actual place to work in here. But until then, we gotta make do with what we got. All right, so this is the way that I found that works pretty easy for uh, bending these things. Cause we wanna bend it over. It's gonna act like a hook on our two by six. So we're just gonna screw this actually down here. And then we're gonna bend it around it. I'll show you. These are gonna be welded to the mount that we just built. And these are gonna be what hangs it on the two by six. We're just gonna take this guy. Bolts are gonna go through both of these holes right here, through the two by six. And so the main weight is gonna be pushing down on the two by six right here but also it'll be bolted through it, through these guys right here. Like that, cool, eh? You can also bend them over a little bit more right now if you wanted, just to get them a little tighter, but this will be plenty tight for me. We're gonna put the hinge just a hair higher than center. I mean, just like a quarter of an inch or so higher than center. That way, the panels are a little bit heavier on the bottom. Just a little bit though. All right, hinges are attached and welded right there. Bam and bam. By the way, check it out, man. The garage is coming along. Concrete is coming tomorrow morning. So working on this today, we got a a day between times. So we're trying to get this done here. Let's go see how it fits. Look at that, man. Those screws I just put in are basically just there to hold it in place until we get the bolts through it. The bolts are what really are gonna hold it. Next thing we're gonna do is properly attach this to the board here. So we gotta drill a hole through here, quarter inch hole. Do one on the other side. I got some bolts, washers, nuts, you know, all the good stuff. Oh, knucklehead. Forgot to put the washer on, that's a pain, trust me. 
There's a pain. So I'm just doing one at a time on each one because this is pretty far away. When I get this one in there, it'll suck it down nice and tight so I can get the other one screwed straight. Drilled straight, I mean. See that? Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. This one over here. Now we can drill the holes for the other ones. So since you guys are looking up in the sky, the backlighting is really bad. Let me just finish this up and I'll show you what it looks like. This is how the hinge is mounted to the two by six. These two bolts and there's two screws up here. They're not doing much, but they were holding it in place before. And on this side here, you can see there's two bolts with uh, big washers there, fender washers. Now we need two four foot pieces of this. That'll vibrate your teeth loose. So these pieces right here are going to be for adjusting the angle and they're gonna be the bottom support holding it at the proper angle. So the way we do that is we take one of these guys right here, they got magnets on them. So you can magnet it right there. You gotta get a nut in there. For the Unistrut, there's these special nuts like this and they just fit right in here, super easy. So I stick this guy on there, put this bolt in there, thread it in there some, slide it where you want it. We want it right there, tighten it down. Pretty simple stuff. Now this piece right here is gonna go up like this. Like that. So it gets one of these inside of here. It's gonna get a bolt through here. It's gonna hold it in place. be like that this is what it looks like with it all put together like that i'll go ahead and do the other one and then i'll show you the next step after that good morning guys we had to carry this video over into the next day let's see where we are we've got this unistrut support on both of these now we need two six inch pieces that are going to bolt onto here i also drilled a hole right here for the bolts to go through to mount it to the two by four but these actually are going to go like this right here and they're going to be used to hold this adjustable slide in place we're going to need one of these we're going to need one of these like that then we're going to need one of these it's going to go in here twist it and you can slide it up and down and then one of these is going to go in here it's going to go just like that do the same thing to the other side but the sun would be right in your eyes so let me get the other side done and then uh we'll go over and we'll mount it to the other side and i'll show you how it all works we're almost done now we just drill a hole right through here and one right through here take our bolts put them through Bam, the thing is finally done. Let me show you how, how to adjust it. So basically you're just gonna loosen this bolt right here a little bit and this one right here a little bit. Then check it out, you can slide it up or down, make the angle steeper for winter time, or you can slide it up to make it less steep for summer. Totally adjustable. Of course they're facing south, right? Then once you get it set to the angle you want, you just tighten up this bolt right here and set right where you want it. Jules is the chicken whisperer. They're following her all over the yard. Here's what they look like with panels mounted to them. 
And here's what the completed unit looks like. In a future video, we will mount the solar panels up there, install our new charge controller and battery monitoring system. If you wanna see what else is going on here in our homestead, there is a video right over here you can go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.